continue journeying together as God's own people, the people who have faith in the Lord and live for the Lord, I would like to invite you to reflect on the Word of God from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30. Jesus is not judging, is not judging us but calling us from everywhere we are and with what we are. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Today we live in a world that many people live in a way they want to live, not in the way that God wants us to live. The world has decided to turn its back on God. In today's world, many people live in fear, in pain, in poverty, in sorrow, in anxiety, and all else that keeps us from God. But Jesus is calling each one of us to find rest in Him. He is ready to relieve us from all that keeps us disturbed. Sometimes we work hard, we carry burdens that are heavy, and we expect to receive a reward worthy of what we carry or what we work for. We fear certain people and places, we fear to do certain things, and we fear to tell the truth because we think by doing so it will cost us our lives. We live in, a, in, we live in pain of the past and of the present, and we allow this pain take whatever we're supposed to be. And it keeps us down, it keeps us from going to Jesus, because we think whatever we do, or by doing so, we will still carry the same pain because we have lived with it for so long a period. And we end up creating a very small world for ourselves and we deceive our mind. Many of us, we live in poverty and what bothers us the most is telling ourselves that living in poverty is having no future, living in poverty is having no hope and no life, and living in poverty is having no relation with God. We keep underestimating ourselves and this makes us stuck in the darkness of no hope. Today, let us break the walls of the small world we create for ourselves. Let us go out and begin to understand beyond our understanding we have. God's mercy, love, blessings and favor does not only revolve on rich people, but on everyone. We are fighting for happiness, love, peace, wealth, joy. We are fighting for good men and women. We are fighting for good houses. And we are fighting for better positions in our societies and in our working places. And we are fighting for inheritance. But Jesus is saying today, come here my child, Take rest and leave the fight for me, and I will do the rest for you. What a good friend we have, a loving and caring father. We have our different stories in life, both good and bad, and our positive and negative experiences of life. Sometimes we are afraid, we feel ashamed to tell our stories to others, now tell yourself that I have someone, someone in my life who is calling me to listen to my story and he is willing not to tell this story to the public but to listen to it and give solution to it and consolation. And that person is none other than Jesus. Pope Francis said, and I quote, each one of us has a unique story, a story of grace, a story of sin, a story of many things. It is good to pray with our own story. 
and of God. This gives us the sense of knowing that no one is perfect in this world. Everyone has a good and a bad story to tell. Don't be afraid to tell your story to the Lord. He is ready to listen. He is ready to forgive us. He is ready to give us rest and comfort. And He is ready to love and transform us in a person He wants us to be. God has a plan for everyone. We see many people in the Bible. After telling their stories to Jesus, their hearts are brought to peace. Some after, some after telling Jesus what they want, their needs are provided, and others after calling on the name of Jesus for help, they are helped. Let us be realistic today. We are crying for the bread of life and for the water that refreshes our souls, and we are crying for a place to rest our tired bodies, and for this we find in Jesus. I am not going to miss this chance. Jesus is calling and I am going to be with him. Brothers and sisters, let us go to Jesus to experience the love and mercy and joy that we have never experienced before. Amen.